Hi, Porik here from Hawkins. Well, welcome to program four in our weekly series here on That's Farming. Dot com. Remember, you can join me every Sunday morning, 10 a.m., for my gardening program. In today's program, I want to chat a little bit about growing your own vegetables and also about growing tomatoes in containers. It's hard to believe that after just several weeks from sowing vegetable plants from seed, they produce little plants ready for planting out. These were sown three to four weeks ago from seed and are now ready for planting out in your garden. Vegetables like lettuce, this is the butterhead lettuce, can be planted in window boxes and containers, planted out into raised beds, or indeed out in your garden soil. And this is the perfect time of year for planting. Another lovely variety of lettuce is one called Little Gem. As the name suggests, they produce beautiful small sized lettuce plants, ideal for two or three people. There's very little waste with Little Gem. French beans and peas can be planted out of doors at this time of year. Again, they're ready for planting and they'll produce their beans and peas by the middle of July, early August of this year. And finally, cabbage plants. This is a round variety of cabbage, but also varieties like hispe or greyhound can be planted as plants or seed at this time of year directly out into your garden soil. So now is the perfect time for planting vegetables. You can also plant some of the vegetable bulbs like sets, shallots, and indeed garlic can be planted directly out of doors at this time of year. Again, planting them now, they'll produce good sized onions by late July, early August of this season. And remember, it's still not too late to plant many vegetables from seed. All the popular varieties can be sown from seed right through April and May and indeed into June. So, sow from seed, plant from plants. It's the perfect weather conditions at the moment for planting vegetables. Tomatoes are also very easy to grow and now in April is the perfect time of year for planting up tomatoes, particularly in pots. And this is a special tomato planter. It's got a self-watering unit at the base that stores water. It's got a stand that helps to support the tomato plant as it's growing during the season. So all you need is a good quality pot, good quality compost. I'm using the GrowWise John Ennis compost, which is really good, it's made by Board Nimona. And to that, I'm adding some slow release fertilizer from GrowSure. So the GrowSure fertilizer helps to feed the tomato plant right through the summer period, because tomatoes are quite hungry plants. So mix that into the soil before planting. Now there are a whole range of different varieties of tomatoes and different colors. Some like Sun Baby produces bright yellow tomatoes. Others like Totem and Shirley produce the traditional red varieties. Some of my favorites include Sweet Aperitif, which produce small cherry-like tomatoes with a beautiful flavor, highly uh, concentrated with sugar. It's a really, really nice plant. If you want something for the children to grow, Sweet 100, again, is another variety of tomato with lots of natural sugars, and the children just love this particular variety. It produces cherry-sized tomatoes by midsummer. For Something smaller, maybe for a windowsill indoors, there's a variety called Totem that grows only 12 inches in height. It's perfect in a patio on a windowsill and to give you a nice small sized tomato, maybe even in a classroom, it'd be a perfect variety to grow, one called Totem. But today I'm going to plant my favorite variety called Sweet Aperitif. It really is a good one. All you need is one plant in a pot this size and simply just make a hole in the center of the pot Put in the tomato plant, firm it in. Remember, we've added the John Innes compost. We've added the Grow Sure Slow Release Fertilizer. Over the next couple of weeks, the Sweet Aperitif will continue up through the rings. That'll give it support. And you can start harvesting your tomatoes from about the middle of July, early August, right through until early autumn. The other key tip is to feed on a regular basis. And tomatoes, because they're hungry plants, require feeding, particularly once the fruit starts to form, every two weeks. So I use a traditional tomato feed every fortnight from the middle of summer right through to autumn on my tomato plants. So now is the perfect time to get back into the vegetable garden. There are lots of seeds to be sown, lots of great vegetable plants to plant now, and tomatoes make a wonderful fruiting plant in midsummer, but now is the time to plant them. <laughs>